You know, one thing really surprised me when I started to get fit and I started to change my life. And that one thing is very simple. Everybody starts to hate you. Yes, everybody will hate you when you get fit and when you begin improving your life. Now in this video, I wanna share a bit about my own personal experience with what happens to the world around you and the way people see you once you start hauling ass in life and improving things for the better. What's up guys, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now my philosophy is that the world is gonna hate you anyway. People will hate you for being unsuccessful, for being successful, for being rich or poor or fat or skinny or in shape. They're gonna hate you anyway. So why not have them hate you for being friggin' awesome? I mean, look at me, this is me when I was 18 years old. Okay, I was driving freaking cars. And you know what's funny? Everyone assumed a few things about me. That I was a nerd, which wasn't really true. That I played video games a lot, that was definitely true. That I wasn't a good athlete, Actually, I set high jump and sprint record, and they assumed I was just some scrawny, dorky, feminine little kid, which wasn't really true. But they were perceiving me and then making up a judgment in their mind about who they thought I was. And now look at this. This is the funny thing. Years later, this is like 12 years later, I'm 30 now. Look at the difference, okay? Look at these two pictures, and here's what people think about me now. So they see these pictures. This is me at an event recently, last year. And this is just a random fitness picture from one of the videos last year. And now it's funny, at 30, all I hear from people is the opposite. They hear, they, you know, they think, the way they think is that this guy must be a huge douche. He looks like an a-hole. This guy must be like the high school jock. He must have been in high school. He must be a player. Most women don't trust me off the bat when we start dating or going on a date. I have to prove that I'm trustworthy, which is kind of funny now at this point. But the funny thing is, if you lived in my life, only then could you see just how ironic this whole, whatever you want to call it, perception is. I'm still the same nice guy. I still read over a hundred books a year. I still am the same dude largely, just a lot externally has changed. And so only if you'd lived inside my body could you understand this cosmic freaking irony. The irony that people now sometimes perceive me as a humongous tool compared to the dorky little nerdy World of Warcraft playing Alex, and yet, I'm essentially the same person. So what actually changed? What changed? Why do people perceive me differently? The irony, you know, when you start off and you're the fat kid, or you're the skinny kid, or you're the poor person, always broke, never has money, everyone supports you, right? At the start, everybody's like, yeah, I believe in you, Jimmy. I believe in you, Katie. Go for it, go back to school work that second job, get in the gym. They're all supportive because they're not in competition with you. They're not intimidated by you. And then the second you get a shred more success than they have, not even major success, just a shred more. The second you start getting a little bit fit, the second you start dating someone that's a high caliber, that's a catch. You, you've got a quality catch woman, a quality catch guy. The second that happens, those same people that were like, yeah, I believe in you, you can do this, like, go, for, go after your dreams. The second that happens, they'll be the same people that'll start tearing you down. They'll be the same people that say, dude, like, what do you spend all your time in the gym? Or you look good the way you are now. Or like, why are you working so hard? You're gonna burn yourself out. Or that person must have issues, right? I mean, she or he, they must be messed up. It's the same people that claim to have supported you once you have an, one iota of success that will then be the ones that are trying to tear you down. It's that whole philosophy of the tall poppy syndrome. It's the tall poppy that gets its freaking head cut off. And so just like me years ago, starting with my blog, people were like, like, hey Alex, how's your cute little blog, you dork? I would just kind of shrug and be like, yeah, it's going well. Thanks for asking. But in all seriousness, I would just, you know, People weren't very friendly. They were just like, oh, that's cute, right? That's cute. Three years later, when I quit my job, people were like, oh, so you can make money from a blog, huh? That's really interesting. And then years later, people are asking me for advice. And so that's the natural progression things go. When you start reinventing yourself, you start changing your life, people will always support you at the start. And then once you become more than they are, 
that starts triggering them. And this is exactly why. People begin to get triggered because you remind them that they quit on improving their life a long time ago. They quit on their dream. They quit on doing the things that would improve their life and the things that used to excite them as a kid or as an adult, they gave up on because it was too hard or too scary or mommy said you couldn't or you got some self-sabotage cycle and they believed it and they caved into that self-fulfilling prophecy. And so that's exactly what you can predictably say will happen every time. And the more you become successful, the more people will hate you for nothing related to your character or to you, but only because of the fact that people, it, it is looking in the mirror and people hate looking in the mirror. People despise looking in the mirror at their flaws and what's messed up and what they're cowards about and what they're not going after. Look at how many people will, be, will hate you only because you are successful. Like, they will treat you like you're the freaking head of Monsanto, even if you're like a blueberry farmer, or you're somebody that's written books that helps people's lives. That's literally how you will be treated sometimes by your own friends and your own family. And most of all, they're going to hate you because you remind them that they took the easy route and not the route that would most lead them to fulfillment, which is very often not the easy route. It's often much harder. Now, at this time, you're at a critical junction in your life, right? You start to have a little bit of success or maybe it's the day you pick up a personal development book and it's at your house and your friends are like, dude, how to win friends and influence people? You're such a dork. Or when your mom or your dad's like, what is this corny relationship crap you're reading? Like, what is this, what is this think and grow rich BS that's on your desk there? The moment that happens, you have a trajectory change, right? You could either, you could either just be like, get that salty look and be like, get angry, right? You yourself could get triggered. Like, I'm trying to improve my life, blah, 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 who are you? Or you could just kind of slyly smile to yourself and know that you're putting yourself on a better path for a year, three years, five years, 10 years down the line. That's what you can know to yourself and just keep it silently, right? It's like that Napoleon Hill quote, show the world what you intend to do, but do it first. Because the reality is doing takes a long time. It takes a lot longer than just saying you're gonna improve your life. And so when you've actually done it and when you've embodied it and when it's something, like the proof's in the pudding. You have the videos out. You have the book you wrote. You have the body that you dreamed of years ago. Then you'll be the envy of people. People will hate you, but you'll also be the envy and people will come to you for that advice. And I think it's really important at that junction to always remember that you have to choose between the path of resentment which is where other people start hating you and you can hate them back or just remembering this path, which is, I know this is going to happen. I saw it coming and I have to know that I'm on the right path because I don't want the life that this person has clearly because they're criticizing me for improving myself. What kind of quality evolved person, what successful person would criticize you for wanting to improve your life in my own life? Never once, never once has someone more successful than me criticized me or working hard, or the books I read, or wanting to improve my life, but always a person who's less successful than me. And I mean that in the holistic sense, fit, happy, healthy, doing work they love, dating an amazing person, etc. So consider that. Now this has obviously become a pretty big rant of a video, but this is very important and it's something that happens to everyone. And I want you to just keep that in mind in your own life because a lot of people cave under the pressure of mommy or daddy, seeing that first personal development book and being like, why are you reading this crap? Like, come on, American Idol's on over here. And that is a scary thing. So I hope that helps you guys. Your tiny daily habit for today is just to be aware that when you change your life, a lot more people will hate you, including sometimes your own friends and your family. And you're going to have to choose to still respond at an, in an evolved way if you want to proceed further and not have that resentment build later. So I hope that helps. Before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, what is something that another person has said in your close family or friends that has kind of held you back? Hey guys, it's Alex. I hope you like this video. The best way to stay in touch is to first come get that free weight loss challenge on my site, seven day weight loss challenge, and there's a free guide for you right there. Also, you can click the link to subscribe, watch that last video. And if you like this philosophy on changing tiny daily habits, check out my book, Master the Day on amazon.com or in the description right there below.